Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on keloids. A keloid is an abnormal proliferation of scar tissue which forms at the site of injury, rises above the skin level, projects beyond original wound margins, and does not regress. For pathophysiology, in normal wound healing, there is a balance between new tissue biosynthesis and tissue degradation. This is achieved through the processes of apoptosis, and remodeling of the extracellular matrix. During keloid formation, there is a prolonged inflammatory phase, due to immune cell infiltration into the scar tissue. This contributes to excess fibroblast activity and increased deposition of ECM, resulting in the tissue projecting beyond the original wound margin. The major risk factors for keloid formation are Ethnicity, most common in Black African or Caribbean and Asian populations. Age, the highest incidence occurring between 20 to 30 years. Cause of injury, burns carry the highest risk. Anatomical site, most commonly occur in scars on the earlobe, shoulders, and sternal notch. And previous keloid formation. For clinical features, aside from their characteristic visual appearance, keloids fortunately do not normally cause many other symptoms. The keloids extend beyond the original wound margin. They are often shiny and hairless, with varying consistency. A small proportion of patients may experience pain, itching, or burning in the scar tissue. Early lesions are often erythematous, before becoming brownish and red, eventually turning pale as they age. The main differential diagnosis for a keloid scar is hypertrophic scarring. Other rarer diagnoses to consider are dermatofibroma or dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans. This table shows the differences between hypertrophic scar and keloid scar. Hypertrophic scars remain within the confines of the wound. Whereas keloid scars project beyond original wound margins. Hypertrophic scars regress over a period of time, but keloid scars do not regress. Hypertrophic scars improves with surgical intervention. Has no association with skin color. Whereas keloid scars are more often seen in people with darker skin color. Keloid scars may form spontaneously without prior injury. Lastly, hypertrophic scars develop in wound locations under high tension, such as shoulders, neck, knees, and ankles. Whereas keloid scars can occur anywhere on the body but predominantly on earlobes, upper arms, sternal notch, and deltoids. Diagnosis is usually made on clinical findings. Biopsy of a lesion is rarely required. For management, surgical excision of keloids is rarely performed. It has poor results, with recurrence rates between 40 to 100 percent. Surgical excision is thought to stimulate collagen synthesis, which results in the regrowth of a larger keloid. There are a number of options for the treatment of keloids. Intralesional steroids are the most widely used treatment for keloids. Silicone gel can be wrapped around the keloid scar for at least 12 hours per day. Radiation therapy reduces the recurrence of keloids, but it has a theoretical risk of inducing malignancy, so its use is limited. That's all for this video. Thank you.